Hi, welcome to Siemens NX video tutorial. It's a remake of a basic surface exercise, the rotary switch. So let's have fun with Siemens NX. In NX I want to use 3D curves. You could do it with sketches as well, but I want to use 3D curves. It's a nice exercise. So let's go to curve and start with a line. And that line should start at a point, of course. And that point would be on the y-axis. And that value should be 60. OK. Now, the support plane should be the y-z plane. And I want to have it at an angle. So let's go for at angle. You need a reference object. I could use this axis. And the angle should be 6. That's OK. And the end limit, so the length, should be maybe 50 millimeter. And OK. Then I will need a three-point arc. Not a three-point arc, but a center arc. So go for arc circle. I need arc circle from center. The center should be this point here, the origin. The support plane should be, select the plane, the set x plane. And it should go through a point. So, and the radius should be 64. So, the point which it should go through is, let's go here and make it set 64. And the other values should be 0, like this. And I want it to be a 90 degree angle, which gives me this nice arc, and I can confirm. Now I need another arc, and that would be on the Y set plane, so go for another arc circle. Again, arc circle from center, and the center point should be at Y should be 30, and set should be 50. Confirm. The support plane should be the Y set plane. I need a through point and that should be in this direction. So the coordinates would be X is 0, yes, Y is 10. And set should be 50. OK. So it starts right here. And the start limit should be 10 degrees. And the end limit should be, I think, 80. Let's take a look. Yeah, this looks OK. And now I can do my surfaces. Let's go for an extrude. Surface extrude. Select this arc here and make it maybe 60 millimeters and confirm. Now I want to extend the surface along those edges. This one will not work. So I want to go for a law extension. Face yes. That's the edge or curve. The face is this one. And I want to go for a constant law type and a constant angle. Zero degrees, 40 millimeter in length. And apply. And the same thing on the other edge here, over here. That's 
the face and direction should be the other way around like this and confirm now I want to sew it where's that there you go this surface and that surface and this surface and confirm now I need a revolve here so let's go for home go for revolve this is the section the axis is the set axis and the point here should be 0 and confirm it should go the other way around and it should go 90 degrees that's ok and confirm and then I will need another extrude I can use this one here as well go for this curve make it 60 and confirm and now I have to trim maybe show the part navigator here ok you could use of course trim sheet but I want to use the combine tool here so let's go for the combine I select all the bodies and I want to keep regions so I will click the regions I want to keep this would be this one here, this one, that one, and this one. So that's a very nice tool and you can very, very quick sort of trim such surfaces. Let's confirm let's hide those curves so in order to get better results with the fillets or rounds or edge blends I want to mirror this part first so go for mirror geometry that's the geometry and the mirror plane should be the set X plane confirm let's sew those two surfaces like that, confirm, and now I want to make a radius with uh, an edge blend with a variable radius here, so go for edge blend, select the edge, it will be this one, ok, and now I can go for this endpoint, this should be 10 millimeters, and this endpoint here should be also 10 millimeters, and I need this endpoint here and that should be 20 millimeters this looks nice now I can go for the 5 millimeter edge blend on this edge tap so it's 5 millimeter and the same over here and confirm and now I can mirror that geometry here so go for home mirror geometry with this plane here confirm and then sew those two surfaces sew this one with that one and confirm and I'm done so I hope it was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram and Facebook if you want. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.